This is Mag212, and this is my custom Nerf arsenal as of October 5th, 2014. In this video, I am going to be going over all of the custom guns that I have made, and I'm going to tell you about every one of them. I'll start by going over from the bottom, and I'll finish over at the top. Uh, this is my minimized and singled sludge fire. It's good because it has this three round speed loader and it's super strong and it shoots super far. This is my Vigitron. I named this the Vigitron because it has a Vigilon integrated into the Nitron. Uh, this is good because you have fully automatic Nitron and then you have a few shots with your uh, Vigilon. It also has LEDs, which makes it super cool, and they turn on like that, and they look pretty cool. Here is my Rapid Strike Sniper Rifle. Uh, this is a minimized Rapid Strike right there, and it has a stock attachment point for a Retaliator stock, and this one's good because it has an integrated strong arm, and it's customizable, so you can put whatever you want on it, use different stock, different barrel attachment, or just use nothing. Here is my... Minimized Rapid Strike SMG. Uh, I cut off the rail and you can see inside which is super cool and if you're going for a realistic looking gun because I don't make many of those beside that one and that one but this one does look very realistic and it is very nice and comfortable. Moving over we have the Zenith of course. This is a Rapid Strike with a Raven stock and a integrated Rapid Strike on a detachable retaliator barrel. This is good because it shoots 800 rounds per minute. That is super fast, and you can take just about anyone down with this. It's very uh, comfortable to hold, even though it looks a little heavy. It is very nice to hold, and it shoots really fast, and it could destroy anyone in a Nerf War. This is my Stryfire 2.0, my second Stryfire with an integrated Mega Magnus. Uh, this is pretty cool because it just looks really cool. And it's very nice because the Magnus fits up very well underneath the crossfire front and it just overall shoots very well and you have mega ammo if you don't want to shoot elite darts and you want to get a few extra feet. This is my modified sling fire, realistic paint job, gray, black. It's very cool, it has this water gun front attachment thing. It's kind of a barrel, I just glued it on to the sling fire and it looks very nice, very realistic gun and it still shoots very well. A uh, few modifications and it shoots a little bit better than stock. This is my Decimator uh, Rapid Strike SMG right there with a double integrated Magnus. This kind of looks like the Manta Ray and although some people say oh it looks so hard to hold, it's actually not that hard to hold because it's very easy to prime the bottom one. If you don't want to use the top one, then fine. It's only plastic, so it's not weighing that much. But if you don't like the Magnus attachment at all, which some people think it's not very useful, you can just take it off and then have a Rapid Strike SMG. But it is nice to have six rounds of Mega Darts. This is my Strifle. Uh, two Strifes. Uh, better than one Strife and they attach so you don't have to dual wield and you can replace your magazines because you can hold it with one hand so you could reload to both without having to uh, brace your blaster and it's like the Zenith except if you want to conserve ammo that's good but this can just about wreck anyone this one is very good I know people like strifes because they're semi-automatic don't waste ammo and they have very high rate of fire this is my evangelizer I just stenciled mag in there I'm not going to do that in the future because I don't think it looks that good, but some people might like it. Uh, this is a Rapid Strike with a Century on stock and barrel. Um, I just did that for the lols because I know people hate the Century on. Then I integrated a Panther into this Rapid Strike shell. It's cut off on the front, basically minimized, and you have the pump in here and it's very comfortable and you just shove a dart in there and it's a good extra shot if you want to get up to 90 feet. Here I just have a little thing I worked on when I was bored. This is actually a Rebel Guardian crossbow. It kind of looks like a strong arm with a pump action grip. That's basically what it is. I cut off the stock because I think the stock was a little bit uh, girly 
and I'm fine with the body because it does look very sleek and it looks very good once you give it a paint job. I also added a long shot scope, which looks very nice with it. It's kind of a very sleek pistol kind of thing. And this is my demolisher. Nothing really unique, but it is painted and I think it looks much better than the all orange demolisher. And now I have my retaliator with a double rough cut. The double rough cut is attached to a retaliator barrel. It has twice as much ammo as a regular rough cut because obviously you have two and it's much better and it's not that bulky but it's very fun to use. It's attached to this retaliator which has bolt priming handles and a raider stock on the back. This is my hail fire with an integrated strong arm. I don't have the priming handle right now but this is a very good combo because you have a ton of darts in the hail fire. You could have really big capacity and really good reload speed and the strong arm is just for a few extra shots. That's what I do with some of my integrations. The main blaster is usually the most effective one but you have just something extra in case you want it. I think this is very nice. I've never seen anyone attach a barrel attachment to a hail fire and I think it's pretty cool. This is my Pyrotron, or so I've called it. This is a Pyragon with an integrated diatron. This has a little bolt priming thing because the normal Pyragon priming handle goes on the bottom and I wanted to put a diatron just to be different and it is it works very well. It's not too hard to prime the diatron and it works much better than in stock form. I also have this nice white and purple paint job, similar to my Demolisher. And I have this integrated diatron because it shoots two darts at once and your likelihood of hitting someone is much better than if you just use the Paragon. This is my replica for a Hyperion shotgun. It's just a Centurion shell with a rapid strike stock and a Panther integrated. Not super practical, but if you're into the prop stuff and the cool looking stuff, this is the gun for you. Finally, this is my Fly Strike. This is kind of my favorite gun, beside the Zenith, because that just shoots like crazy. But this is kind of my pride and joy. Uh, Coop did something similar. He put a Strife with that, and I didn't realize until just now, but he also put a rough cut in, so I guess it can be conceived that I copied him, but I honestly only put the rough cut because I wanted to try and integrate it up into the battery tray. And I love this gun. It's super comfortable. You have that fully automatic rapid strike and just a few extra rough cut rounds just to uh, shoot at people. And I also have LEDs, which is really nice. And I really love the LEDs. That might be my favorite part about the gun, other than the paint job. And it just looks really cool. So that is my Nerf arsenal. That's all my stuff as of October 5th. All of these guns are on my web store, and I do need to get rid of them because, yes, as you can see, I do have a lot of Nerf guns. This is probably going to be a lengthy video, but I just wanted to go over all of them because they are going to be for sale soon, and I'm going to be getting rid of them, and I want to kind of have a documentation of it, and I want to show you guys about them because if you'd want to buy them, if you want to know a little more about it, and I would seriously suggest taking a look at my web store. I'll post a link in the description box. There's a link in all of my videos, but I would really appreciate it if you guys took a look because I want to share my stuff with you and it's really fun making Nerf gun mods and I want to share them with you guys. And so if you would just check out my web store, that would be great. But that is the end of my Nerf Arsenal video as of October 5th, 2014. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my web store and maybe consider purchasing something. This is Mag212. Thank you for watching.